So, while I was reviewing my... Uh, I looked in the wrong place because I moved the camera. It was there. And now it's there. There, there you are. <laughs> yeah. I was recording a, a new course element earlier on today. I found a very old blog of mine. What is a physical and logical file? And I uh, was thinking to myself, I need to upgrade this because it's talking about AS400s. And the old um, text that's been pasted in there has lost all the indents. Which made me think, why don't I do two quick lessons on my What is an IBM I Operating System course? saying what is a physical file, what is a logical file, and what do they look like in DDS, and what do they look like in SQL? The same thing, right? They're interoperable. If you didn't know, IBM I DB2 has a full SQL database. You can create a file as a physical file with a logical over it and read it in your program, or you can create a file as an SQL table and then compile a logical over it and read it in your program, or do indexes and views and read them in your program. Um, IBM have done a wonderful job of gluing SQL and the good old DDS style of files together, and I quite often will just take um, old DDS files, convert them into SQL source, which I call DDL, I think that's the name, and um, then recompile them. Um, and just use them, and I swear they're faster to use than DDS. But I digress. So what is the IBM I database? I added this lesson just a minute ago, basically saying, yep, there's a physical file, that's where the data lives. If you're talking about SQL, that's called a table. Um, then there are logical files, which don't contain data, they're just ways of looking at this physical file. So in my example that I put here on this lesson, the uh, physical file could contain, say, a customer master file, the customer name, his or her address, and other details, right? You might create a logical file that says, show me that data sequence by name. You might create a logical file called show me that data sequence by address, or show me sequence by postcode, zip code, or country, or whatever, depending on how you want to read it. Each one of those logical files just has an index, which is this thing about sorting and sequencing the physical data. If you read any one of those logical files, you're actually reading the data from the physical file, but sequencing it depending on the logical file that you're reading. It's really that simple. They shouldn't really have called them logical files. They should have called them logical views, I, su I suppose, back in the day. Then it would have made a lot more sense. There isn't a logical file, as far as I'm aware, equivalent in SQL because you're creating an index and making a view. So I suppose the best way to describe a logical file would be like a an index, if an index and a view had a baby in SQL speak. But for all intents and purposes, I call a physical file a table, because it is. And a logical file is an index and a view put together. Really that simple. Um, yeah, so let's... Put, I'm going to stop recording this and just shove this at the bottom of this page and then I'll do a whole new one where we'll create a physical, we'll create a logical and we'll have a look how they work. Yeah, that's the end of this blather. Let's get it on.